Mr. Broadcaster, one of the top talents in radio today, is now arriving in your market. Hello again, it's Charlie Tiller back at the radio, fulfilling my simple desires. I don't want much out of life, just a radio show and a place on Nelson Rockefeller's Christmas gift list. Charlie Tiller is rocking a boat. Charlie Tiller, ain't seen nothing yet. Open your mouth and close your eyes, and you'll have a big surprise. <laughs> I remember what it was. Blackman Turner Overdrive with the Hagers up next. Love it. Yeah, I want it. An exclusive show for your market. Designed to be quick, fast moving, and an audience getter. But not just music. Did you know the Consumer Product Safety Commission that estimates 20 million Americans each year are injured in accidents around the house? Is that wild? 20 million Americans. Of course, the 20 million Americans are probably accounted for by accidents around the house in the first place. One out of every four dollars spent on food, it says here, is for food that's eaten away from home. <laughs> Just don't let your wife find out about that. Yes, the Charlie Tuna Show. A three-hour weekend slot full of gags, music, one-liners, twisted facts, and the phone calls. Something bothers me. Uh-huh. You know these little photo mat booths? Yeah. Why do they go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know where the, the uh, photo mat bathroom is? Where, really? Well, it's, a, it's an old dark room. <laughs> <laughs> With some uh, apparent inherent hazards. <laughs> They, they say never go in there barefoot. <laughs> You'll never guess who I have on the telephone uh, waiting to talk here. It's uh, Rona Barrett, the well-known Hollywood gossip columnist, and this will be the first time I guess we've ever spoken. Do I call you Miss Rona or Rona Baby? You or? can call me Rona Baby, sweetheart <laughs> love. You can tell the world out there what we have meant to one another for so long and that this is the first time we're telling everyone what that was. That's what is it, John? <laughs> City of Chicago. Uh, yes. Uh, good morning. This is Charlie Tuna. Is there somebody here I can speak to about your uh, kangaroo that's still been bouncing around Chicago? About the kangaroo? Right. I think I have a solution how to capture it. Oh, you do? Yes. Why not stage something that would really attract a kangaroo? Uh, like a high school hop. Hi, Fred again. Yes, Fred. Okay, you want to know my favorite word? Yes. Negative. Negative? Uh -huh. Why? Well, in the last two years, twice, the doctors told me negative. <laughs> Police Department Sergeant Mazza. This is the Carbondale Police Department, right? Right. Uh, it's Charlie Tuna calling about the uh, the eerie glow that you found the other day, I guess, in a lake. That was a flashlight. It was a no, a, a, a Trayman light. Trayman's light. Uh, yeah, it's like a, 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 like a lantern type. Right? They thought at first it was uh, a UFO or a space right. creature, right? That's correct. Uh, we were uh, talking out here in Los Angeles this morning. Uh, we've arrived at the theory that maybe indeed Martians look like lights or flashlights or train lights. Yeah. Are you Where going are you calling to, from? Uh, this is Los Angeles, California. Are you calling from, all the way from over there over here? That's right. We, well, we've had a whole discussion for almost you two hours. Like you sound like you're around here someplace. No, I'm right here in Los Angeles. Yeah? Yes, this morning. This is Charlie Tuna. Tuna? Tuna, right. T-U-N-A? That, that's right. Charlie Tuna? That's right, sir. We've been having a discussion on the fact that the uh, alien beings might indeed be flashlights in disguise, and for all these years we have been invaded and really didn't realize it. Do you think so? Are you going to hold that much longer, the flashlight or the train light there? God, we have to keep it here. How long? Or so, somebody claims it? No, we're going to keep it in our custody. All right. Well, that, la that lantern. Watch it very carefully. It right now, and it's in, it's in good hands. It is. I don't know. This guy says his name is Charlie Tuna from Los Angeles, California, talking about that flashlight. Are you kidding me, buddy? I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be funny. No, no. You say Charlie Tuna. This is Charlie Tuna, sir. Are you pulling my leg? <laughs> not till the Christmas party. Not till the Christmas party. To appease the flashlight, I'm told the best way is uh, for Christmas, try and get us some new batteries. I, I think you're pulling my leg. Charlie Tuna, voted Personality of the Year by some 33 program directors in the Billboard polls. Winner of the LA Times Contemporary Personality of the Year Award, and headliner with listeners around the world with his ability to take everyday little-known facts and turn them into... The Unbelievable. A steel bar bends under the weight of a fly. It's been verified by the U.S. Department of Commerce, the National Bureau of Standards. Don't look now, but uh, your fly is bent. 
Salmon are like trees. Their age can be told by the number of rings on their scales. One was finally kicked out of the union because he was found to be overscaled. Harry Another plus factor in the weekly Sean shows, Marshall Charlie Scotland talks with March top recording artists about their biggest hit. And now, just a minute with Olivia Newton-John. I'm a romantic. I just like meeting people and um, going out to dinner and talking to people. I'm very lucky that I do like people because in this business, if you didn't, you'd be in real trouble. Is that your biggest asset? <laughs> I don't know. I think I managed to get on with most people, and um, I don't really have time. And the problems that listeners have when Charlie opens... Radio hotline. I have a problem. Yes. My phone is broken. Funny, it's on this end, too. Radio hotline. Can you please play, um... Yes, but my mother says I have to do my radio show first before I can. Oh. Radio hotline. Yeah, uh, how much do you get paid for that job up there? <laughs> this is the world's oldest profession, so figure it out yourself. Oh, it's man. by the hour. Radio hotline. Yeah, I got a problem. Yes, that's why I'm here. Tell me your problem. Well, my problem is, remember I called you before and you hung up? I did? Well, you laughed at me, then you hung up. Oh. Oh, this is the lady who says yeah. I always laugh at her and hang up. You can do that again? <laughs> that's silly. You've heard only a sample of what the Charlie Tuna Show has to offer. And we feel the constant variety, top-rated music, old and new, will draw a large listening audience to this fresh new approach in radio programming. Each hour will give eight avails and out cues our direct voice or 25 hertz tone. We are now offering this three-hour bonanza for syndication on a first-come, first-served basis in your market. We are convinced that the Charlie Tuna Show on your station can give your listening audience what they want to hear in radio entertainment. So call or write John L. Productions for information about how you can play the world's funniest weekly radio feature in your market exclusively.